Hi beautiful, welcome back to another Lita video. I am actually doing a design today that you can get away with for the entire month of March, okay? I know it's a tad bit early, but I had this in mind and yes, I wanted to share it with you. If you guys have noticed, um, there is a pattern when, when it comes to me doing designs. I do like to do designs that are... Um, basically when they're related to holidays and it's like a theme I the designs are how can I say it they're related to they're in support let's let's say it th like that they are in support of the holiday but they're not screaming um the holiday if that makes any sense so basically they're designed for you they're wearable they're designed for you to be able to wear them before and after the holiday if that makes sense so yes that's just always been one of my little like not a pet peeve just a thing that I think about when I'm doing my own nails so that's kind of what I share with you guys so <laughs> enough about that um as you can see here I am doing the extended nail bed and usually you will use this technique when you are extending the nail bed for someone that has a short nail bed and you want to give the illusion that the nail bed is longer or say you are doing a reverse French um and I think that is it those are the few times or if you just want to do a design with the nail bed longer and then you add a color okay as you could tell I was a little rusty I thought I could um get it done in one bead and I did fail a little bit so I had to add another bead and then yeah it was fine I'm you know it, it's been a while since I've done it so now I go in and I perfect it I file it so that the V shape is nice and crisp and sharp this way when I add the colored acrylic it looks nice okay um let's see what else do I want to share with you um please stay watching until the end um if you do tend to like fast forward and go to the end that's fine but stay tuned until the end what I did differently or what I'm going to start doing differently on my videos is I added a clip and a picture showing the design in latch unlatural. The heck, if I could talk, I'm okay. I'll be all right. Um, showing the design in natural lighting because, because, because um, I feel like when we are recording, we're actually using an intense light, obviously, because we want you guys to be able to see the design really well or whatever it is that we're doing really well and I feel like um the design kind of it affects the way that the color looks basically and the design and the way the glitter shine and everything so I just wanted to give you an idea of what it would look like in real life quote unquote okay so this way if say you go to your nail tech you're like oh I like this design and you get a real feel of what it would look like on your nail without this fancy lighting and whatnot okay so oh right there yeah one of the the bead fell in there and I messed up I made a mistake it happens okay um so I just went ahead and I just took it out but what else so yeah stay tuned to the end for that and I'm using Mia Secret in the color lemon I do realize I kind of felt like the color was a little bit bright but with the glitters that I use, it does tone it down a bit. So, so yeah. Um, someone asked me, I think her name was Gabrielle. I'm not sure. Gabby. She, um, she was asking me about the high armrest that I have in the back there. I'm using it to support the hand. And um, I think she might be having some problems. But I hope this is helpful to you. I mean, my I guess my take on it is just to try to get an adjustable chair and make sure that the client is higher. Um, if you if the trouble that you're having is that it's too high. Um, but yeah, just that would be my only thing. Or if uh, I just I wasn't exactly sure as to what kinds of troubles you were having. So if it's too high, then maybe you the chair can be, you know, the client could be sitting a little bit higher or um, I don't know, maybe just go back to the the lower the lower. If you don't want to do that, 
then maybe just add like a pillow or two to the chair and this way you know it just adds a little bit of comfort and then your client's a little bit higher and then they're not struggling so much another thing to keep in mind when i do my daughter's nails or i do someone else's nails um she's just like she's switching out her hands so she the other arm or the other hand has a chance to rest so it shouldn't be bothering them um too much but but yeah good question i hope that was helpful so yeah um about the glitter if i could do anything different or if i did do this d design again on somebody or myself i i think what i would change is just doing or using less glitter i would use less glitter that's it um in this case less would have been more i feel like it still turned out beautiful because i end up you know filing a lot of it away and it, it turns out really pretty um but I think I could have done like a little, little bit more of a gradient maybe on the tip and then like blended it up that would look really pretty so if you try it out do it that way I think it's gonna look gorgeous that way okay so let's see I think that is all I have to say so I hope you guys like this design as much as I do thank you guys for being here if you're new please hit that subscribe button and join my little family here on YouTube. I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.